looking to do something that no Manitoba ball hockey team has done in nearly four decades. The Winnipeg Grasshoppers kicked off the opening day of action here at the Canadian Ball Hockey Championships with a resounding victory over the visitors from Toronto. Teams from all across the country have converged in Winnipeg, all vying to raise the prestigious Jack Cup above their head by week's end. Over 800 athletes have made their way to the prairies for the annual competition, a clear indicator to event director Jeff Dickowitz on just how rapidly the sport's popularity continues to grow. For years and years and years, it was like kids played street hockey. There's some adult ball hockey leagues. Uh, nowadays, the youth leagues are exploding across the country. National team member and Winnipeg native Remy Lorenzell led the way for the Grasshoppers in a high-scoring 7-4 opener. Paying homage to the last Manitoba team to capture the national title, Lorenzell and team captain Paul Castis hope to give friends and family plenty to cheer about. It's nice having it at home and we can actually focus on building a good team and getting the right guys to come and play. Um, so it's pretty special. Some of, the, some of the dads from some of the guys who play on the team now used to play back then. So we're just trying to do them proud. We're trying to do everybody proud and, and do ourselves proud out here and put in good effort. With the Summer Olympics taking place in Paris, many have questioned why ball hockey has yet to be featured on sport's greatest stage. I don't know why ball hockey's not in there. I think they have break dancing in the Olympics now. Like if, if you got break if you got break dancing, you gotta have ball hockey. For those here in Winnipeg, it's not a matter of if, but of when. You know, Canada would do great and it would be a great sport if we could ever get it there. So hopefully one day, hopefully I'm still playing or kicking around by then and we can uh, we can get it where it needs to be. Travesty that this is not an Olympic sport. I guarantee it'd be one of the most watched sports on TV and in the rinks. They'd make a ton off it and it would be exciting to watch. In Winnipeg, Kurt Black, City News.